All right, guys, welcome back to Smoke One. If you have one, my name is Eric, and today, my buddies, my people, my brothers, my family, Shadow Smoker Legion, want to know about fake Cubans. They want me to smoke one and review one, and I'm gonna sacrifice myself for this one because I have no idea what's in there. And this will be it. So from what I could tell, Tony gave this to me. Uh, he said it's fake Cubans. And uh, the way you could tell is it's in this kind of cell. Do you see this kind of cell? Yeah. And they come in this package with the, it's not a, a official package for that way. And uh, yeah, when they come in a cell like this, you better be careful boys. Better keep be careful. And what I could look up on it to tell that it's fake. That the color scheme of this thing is way off from the real one. It's supposed to go, it's supposed to shine. It's like shiny, but it's, this one's kind of mad and everything. And it's a simple one actually. This cigar is very well. It's a part of gas Series D number 5. Uh, part of gas Habana. But... Yeah, it's uh, it's a fake one. <laughs> I had it for a little bit, and uh, yeah, some people, some of my friends wanna um, know about it, so you know they're willing to sacrifice me for their uh, goods, I guess. Great friends, right? <laughs> All right, now let's take a closer look at. It. All right, here's the cigar. But yeah, I don't know how to tell Partagas uh, fake Cuban, so don't quote me. But I just got the info from Tony that's a fake one. Yeah. So, from what I could see is 4 and 4.3 for the length. Ring gauge is 50 Petit Robusto. And I don't know how much this thing is. I don't know. I have no idea. No clue. So I'm not going to say anything. But yeah, it's very light pack. And I don't know. It might be not long fuel. I'm not sure. But we find out, right? I have no idea. It might be plastic in there or anything like that. I hope not. I hope not. Man, JB want to kill me, bro. He want to kill me. All right, now let's cut it. And light it. All right. Cedar wood and hay. Peppery. A black and white pepper on a foot. It's actually smelled very pleasant. I hope it smelled pleasant. Like I said, I never tried it. Alright, now let's cut it and see how the cold draw is. This thing's dry because I've been leaving it out and away from my other cigars. Oh god, it just cracked everything. Oh crap. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Cool. It just it just broke. Everything just break. All right. You see that? That's that's not good. All right. Nice clean cut. <laughs> oh man. Good job. Barnyard hay and cedar. It's like really cedar forward. Definitely. And that's it. It's a good draw then. Alright, now let's light it. Stop, babe, you're late. Look at my face and what did you see? I'm on your light, your light. I know you shitting me. What did you do? This you said.
So for those of you who don't know, when you smoke a fake Cuban, you are still smoking to Cuban tobacco. It's just not the brand name that you thought you purchased it for or the price, right? And I, I really uh, don't recommend buying Cubans online. I want to make it short about that. But I don't know when I'm going to do it because I'm procrastinating about it. But yeah. If you smoke for Cuban, that doesn't mean it's not Cuban tobacco. It's still Cuban tobacco, but it's not the quality that you want for that way. It's wood and more wood and cedar. A little bit of creaminess. And yes, it does have that um, Cuban-ness or whatever you want to call it. That Cuban taste. The vanilla hay, but it's not like a lot. But it's there. A little bit of earthy. There's barely any spice on the retro hell. Mineral. A lot now. With leather. The vanilla hay sweetness just gone. I don't know where it went. It went somewhere. I gotta go find it. Alright, that'd be it for the few puff. I'll see you guys at the end of the first third. Alright guys, welcome back. We're the end of the first third. So by the way, the ash is burning. I believe it's a mixed filler. It's long filler with short filler inside. It looked like and it looked like it's burning. It's burning like paper. It's kind of weird. But yeah, the flavor. Leather, earthy, ammonia, and dusty wood on the retro hell. There's like a lot of ammonia, mineral on the palate, on the tongue. I feel like we're just scraping the tongue. But yeah, that's it for the first third. There's nothing. The Cuban S flavor is gone. I don't. I don't taste it no more. But yeah, this is not good. I don't know. I hope there's nothing in there that would just harm me. You know, like floor sweeping, dusty stuff like that. The more I think about it, it's, what, it's a bad idea to smoke a fake Cuban, tell the truth. I don't know why when I asked Tony, he just gave it to me. He could just say like, hey, no bro, I care about you, you know? And I don't want you to smoke fake Cuban, but I do have one. But he's like, no, here, here, go die. That's what he basically say. But that's it for the first third. I see you guys at the end. Of the second third all right guys we'll come back <clears throat> with the end of the second third that cuban us that cuban that cuban flavor is not there no more and it's very unpleasant flavor right now and um i i honestly This thing tastes like shit. I don't want to finish it no more. I don't want to smoke it. And this is for JB. Fuck you, dude. But, <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I don't think I'm going to go through the whole thing because I'm, I, the flavor is starting to get really weird. Like this burning something in there. But I don't, I don't know. What do I know? I'm indecisive right now. Should I finish it? 
I'm already here, right? I'm already here. Fuck it. I'm gonna just for JB. I will finish the cigar. Just for him. I right, know. I don't even know what wood. A lot of wood and earth. That's it. And a retro hell. A little bit of spice, but not like crazy. It's a medium body now. Strength still at medium. Or now it's medium. Before it was light plus, now it's medium. Um, other than that, nothing else to really talk about because I can't even tell what flavor I'm getting because it's, it's weird. It's a weird flavor. And there's a lot of mineral, like acidity to it. That's just on the tongue. And that's it. Let's take off this this band. Okay. Here's the band. It should have more texture to it, but it doesn't. It doesn't have texture to it. So yeah. The aroma of the cigar is not pleasant either, to tell the truth. This whole cigar is not pleasant. I don't know. Alright, I'll see you guys at the end of the cigar. Alright guys, welcome back. <clears throat> With the end of the cigar, finally! Finally! But, um, yeah, this cigar is, this cigar is no good to me, in my opinion. Hey. Don't go out there and buy fake Cuban if you don't know how to buy real Cuban, right? Uh, fake Cuban could be anything from garbage tobacco, where the manufacturer roll and put it in garbage and somebody else just take it out and roll. Or it could be just on floor, sweeping. I have no idea, tell the truth. Don't quote me. That's how I think. But yeah, um... The final third, it just literally nothing but flavor of tobacco. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. There's really nothing for me to say about this cigar. It was bad. And JB, I hope you're happy. And yeah, that'd be it for the review. So one one of ten, I would rate the cigar. Don't buy. But if you want to, you can. You know, just if you go to like, you know, like on a vacation where Cuba is or um, what's that place called? Dominican, something like that too. They have it everywhere in the street. You know, you could try it if you want to. But, you know, I, I can't really say my thoughts now because I might get sued. <laughs> but, all right. That'd be it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you next time. Peace!